What is going on everybody? Stabs here, welcome back to another one of my videos. Um, today we're going to be talking about uh, my first thoughts, my first impressions on Black Ops 3. Now the game has been out for uh, about 10 days and uh, I purposely waited this long so that I could actually get a kind of full review on the game uh, just in case the things did get changed. A lot of things did. So I just wanted to um, basically give you guys the most accurate uh, report I guess I could say. But um, let's just get right into this. Now, for the most part, I'm going to be completely honest. This game is absolutely amazing. I'm not even 100%. This is probably my favorite uh, game that I've ever played. I absolutely love this game. And uh, I've been tweeting this a lot. I remember the first week that this game was actually out. All you guys saw on my Twitter was, uh, this game's going to be great. This is going to be a great year for COD. And this is, I, I'm not joking at all, this is going to be a great year for Call of Duty. I mean, this game just puts any other Call of Duty to shame, in my opinion. Because um, the amount of stuff that you can do in this game, the things that they have fixed already, um, it's just, it's really, really good to actually have a Call of Duty like this. Now, um, the things that I think that should actually get um, buffed and nerfed, um, there isn't really much um, left because they did have a recent um, update and they kind of fixed everything. But um, so I'm just gonna go on to my next topic. Um, the banner protect system, in my opinion, um, for pubs is um, kind of a way to troll people, especially in arena, because they could just ban all the good things and things like that. Uh, for UMGs and wagers and GBs and things like that, whatever you guys play, uh, it is pretty helpful. But um, it's also pretty annoying because you kind of have to know uh, the guns that your team or uh, the team that you're versing uses and you have to talk a lot with your team so that's why I like it but uh, it's also very I guess you could say um, there, there's always problems with it because you have to know your team and how they play and what guns they use because you could ban something that they completely don't use and you're gonna ban or uh, waste your turn in the banner protect system and uh, when you could have protected something or uh, banned something else. Now, um, for pro players, this is absolutely great because most pro players know how each other, how they play. So, um, say you're playing Optic Gaming for a chance. You know that um, if you ban the SMGs, what they have been doing basically all of yesterday, this weekend, the land that they just uh, actually finished. Um, if you play Optic Gaming, uh, everybody basically tried to put scump in the worst situation possible and they basically just banned the two best smgs over and over again which are the vmp and the uh, vesper uh, scump usually uses vesper so that was usually the first thing they banned and uh, that put him in an awkward situation because uh, obviously he's an smg player so those are the only things to use so he was kind of forced to either use the kuna which isn't really that good of a gun compared to the via vmp and the vesper or he could use m8 and um if you use the M8, it's obviously uh, flipped around because uh, Grim 6, Formal, and Karma have absolutely have been doing really, really good with the M8 lately. So um, I remember there was one series where they banned it and they didn't know really what to do. So they kind of had to adapt. And uh, that's basically what it does. It makes the other team adapt. It has to, you have to change all your classes over and over again. And uh, you have to know how your team plays for that to actually be effective. So uh, overall... I guess you could say it is pretty uh, nice to have in the game because uh, you guys can basically agree on things to get rid of and things to keep, but uh, you do have to use it wisely. Now another thing that I'm actually a fan of is uh, the connection in this game. Now I'm not sure how it is for you guys, but for me usually my bullet uh, reg and connection in this game so far has been really really good. Um, like I said, I'm not speaking for everybody, but um, for myself, I mean, when I play pubs, um, I haven't really played too many tournaments lately and wagers and things like that. I'm um, trying to get more into the game and actually learn a little bit more about it. But um, when you play online like I do, my bullet connection in this game is 100 times better than how it was in Advanced Warfare. Because in that, I don't know what they did wrong, but in this game, it's definitely... Um, a lot more noticeable I don't know if it's on with the servers or uh, just the game but uh, I really really like it the movement in this game is really really good um, it took 
kind of like the first day or two to actually get used to it but once you got the hang of it uh, you kind of understand how to use it when not to use it and things like that and um, it's really fluent in the game I'm not sure if uh, most of you guys kind of stood in the news while Black Ops 3 was being created and things like that when the pros actually went to go play it but uh, many of them said that um, it was played on the ground and a lot of people didn't believe them because obviously there's boosters in the game but um, now playing it for about a week I can say that um, most of the gunfights that I actually get into maybe 98% of them somewhere around there um, they are on the actual ground the only time I'm actually in the air is when I'm trying to boost away some, from somebody or when I'm wall riding which is mostly what it's for because um, I don't know if you guys have noticed this already but if you slide and try and shoot your hip fire spread is absolutely crazy and you can't really get a kill while you're trying to hip fire and slide at the same time and while you're actually using your booster and say you're trying to jump shot or uh, hop over somebody and shoot at them at the same time your gun movement is just absolutely crazy it just goes all over the place and it's really hard for you to aim so um, I really like how they did that because most of the gunfights are on the ground and it, the boosters are only used to wall, to wall ride and things like that and hop over walls just like that which is exactly what the developers actually said so I really really like that now for some of my complaints that I actually have about the game uh, you know just so you know I do have some this game isn't completely perfect but um, you wouldn't really expect it to be since it's only been out for about 10 days but uh, one of them is being uh, things like uh, perks and equipment that are either too overpowered or um, not very useful because it doesn't really help you that much now one of these is the perk of uh, flag jacket now this really needs to be nerfed in my opinion because flag jacket is, can literally save you from any blowing uh, exploding score streak in this game and uh, it's really really overpowered and I, I feel like it should um, something should happen to it so that it can kind of be you know it's useful but it shouldn't be able to basically keep you alive from anything now um, another thing I want to talk about is the snipers in this game now uh, the snipers are really really good in this game compared to how they were in uh, advanced warfare we only used the um, the more sniper in that game mainly but uh, in Black Ops 3, the snipers are kind of equal. You don't really get too many hit markers with them. I didn't really have too many situations like that. But um, the auto aim or assist in uh, Black Ops 3 for snipers is really, really low um, from my point of view. So it's really, really hard to kind of snipe people, especially if they're trying to jump in the air, if they're water riding, and something like that. It's really hard to uh, try and kill them like that unless you're kind of pre-aiming them in some sort of way and uh, you fire off the shot before they start moving but other than that it's really really hard to actually kill them now my last complaint that's actually been bugging me a lot since I actually started playing the game was uh, the Hellstorm score streak now if you guys played the beta for Black Ops 3 uh, when it come out you guys know that the uh, Hellstorm was probably the best kill streak in the game um, depending on the amount of kills that it actually got you and um, now for some reason, I'm not sure if they did something to it, uh, they most likely nerfed it, but um, when I get a Hellstorm, I could most of the time I barely get any kills. And I'm not sure uh, what's wrong with it, but um, when I try and um, you know how oh, when you use it you get those little squares around people, well I get that and the missiles don't really follow them, they just go straight and uh, I barely get any kills if people run out of the way, they either run into buildings or just dodge the missile and um, it's not really as useful as it used to be in the um, beta and especially when you're off spawn um, I could see why they have kind of like the three second delay before you could kind of kill somebody with the score streak um, out of spawn but um, I feel like it's really too long of a time uh, because I cannot tell you how many times I have actually um, missed kills because I um, the other enemy has just spawned so that's pretty much it for this commentary But I want to thank you guys for watching the video I hope you guys did enjoy if you did drop a like on the video and subscribe It really helps the channel out a lot. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video